This Week in Army History. In 1965, during the height of the Cold War, Americans were concerned about the communist influence in the Western Hemisphere. This was particularly true with respect to the Caribbean Basin following Cuba's communist revolution in 1959. The Dominican Republic endured a constant struggle for political control between communist sympathizing leftist groups and conservative business and military leaders. On April 24th, a group of leftist forces unexpectedly deposed the Dominican leadership. Crowds took to the streets throughout the capital of Santo Domingo and quickly overwhelmed the Dominican security forces. The U.S. Ambassador W. Tapley Bennett Jr. described the situation as collective madness. To authorities in Washington, he declared, I recommend that serious thought be given to armed intervention to restore order beyond the mere protection of lives. If the present loyalist efforts fail, the power will go to groups whose aims are identified with those of the Communist Party. We might have to intervene to prevent another Cuba. In response, President Johnson, stating the need to protect American lives and property, directed the U.S. military to deploy to the Dominican Republic to stabilize and prevent the country from falling to the communists. Thus began Operation Power Pack. The plan called for a battalion-sized element from the 82nd Airborne to air land at San Ysidro Airfield east of the capital and advance westward, securing both the eastern and western sections of the city. They would then be assisted by loyalist elements in regaining control of Santo Domingo. However, soldiers were soon engaged in house-to-house -house clearing operations while under fire from rebel forces. The rebels were assisted by Dominican military defectors who wore the same uniforms as loyalist forces allied with the United States. Yet, by the end of the first week, two full battalions from the 82nd were conducting security operations on the ground. By the end of May, the entire division was in country as the command began stability operations. Ultimately, more than 40,000 U.S. troops participated in the action. Operation Power Pack proved that the United States military could move rapidly and forcefully to defend its interests in the Western Hemisphere.